uh, use this profile, uh, renaming profile, to click uh, rename everything, and then the, the, the thing renames everything, uh, and I've got files, you know, so, so before it was nv space parenthesis 1 parenthesis, now it's uh, nv space 1, nv space 2, nv space 3, nv space 4. Now I can batch import them into virtual dub as I explained earlier. Uh, this basically leaves me with uh, a two, let's say I recorded two hours, a two hour segment of video. A whole two hour big video that I can, I can do whatever I want with. I can save it as a whole big file. I can save, this is what I did with uh, Mafia, uh, Mafia 2. Uh, I can save it as segmented AVIs, like that's what I do. I click on, I click on save as segmented AVIs, and I can say, you know, make one, make a segment every 20 minutes, and then it basically uh, splits all my, all of my videos in 20 minute segments, or roughly 20 minute segments, and I, and when I, uh, I mostly leave this on overnight, and I come back, and I've got a bunch of 20 minute uh, segments. So I'd say the amount of time that you use for virtual dub to re to uh, render videos is about the same amount of time. The video, it's probably the same amount of time you use to record the video. So let's say you have two hours, it probably takes four hours to, to render that, I would say. If you have two hours of, of raw game footage, which you have to imagine how much, how much that is. I mean, that's a lot. Even when you're uh, allocating, I have an Intel Core i7 processor, which has four cores. And I'm allocating all of those cores, I'm, I'm putting in the highest priority, and it still takes about four hours. I have to do this overnight because I don't want my computer to be slowed down if I want to do, you know, play another game or if I want to do something else, you know. Um, I don't want my whole computer to be slowed down just by this. So I have to do it overnight. I come back. Um, I've got, you know, I've got all the videos done and they're a pretty, pretty low file size. Um, the thing is, what I can, what this allows me to do, this thing with the camera, is it allows me to skip that step. It allows me to skip um, it allows me to skip the step of renaming them first in Windows, renaming them in the, in the next uh, batch renaming software. It, it uh, skips the part of me importing it into virtual dub, saving it as a segment AVI. It skips all of that. I've got um, the only downside is the heightened file size. It's the only downside. I've got a heightened file size but I've got done videos. I've got videos that are co that are completely finished and ready to go pretty much. Um, now I have been I've been debating whether I should I should put these into a into a um con a compressor or not. Now before I, I talked about all of this, I, I was talking about with uh, I was talking to you guys about this and I said, you know, uh, the camera's gonna be a lower file size, it's gonna be better this, better that. I was I was basically talking bullshit. That was all bullshit because now I figured out it's not that way, and um, I want to explain the whole thing in a little more detail so you guys know some background in case you're interested. But that's why I need an MP4 processing thing. So basically, my decision on the MP4 compression for software is if I if I can use the factors are basically how long does it take? Does the quality de get degraded too much, or the the audio and video quality? I mean with that. Does the file? How much does the file size get? De file size get decreased. So speed, quality, and file size. Those three things are important. The decre decreasing of the file size. The, the, uh, how long it takes. I don't want it to take as long as my rendering, because then I'd be back to square one. That'd be fucking bullshit. I want to import like two hours of footage and quickly compress it, and like maybe take hundred megabytes off each video or something, so it goes that much faster because my internet is so fucking slow. It's gonna take probably three or four hours alone to upload one video. I know, one one gigabyte probably takes about three or four hours. I've uh, tried to figure it out. So anyway, <clears throat> that's the whole rundown. I really need a good uh, compression software. I'm I'm guessing there's not gonna be a good enough one for my for my purpose out there. I'm gonna have to find ways myself to decrease the file size of the videos on the camera, um, or you maybe maybe I luck out because I've I've only calculated the amount of uh, file size that the new camera is gonna need, 
the one that Darkside Phil uses, the uh, D Sony Cybershot DSC W290. So, um, I only calculated that, so I don't know for sure. Maybe I'll luck out and it's actually less. And maybe there's some settings I can change on the camera that makes it not as high quality, but then, you know, de degrades the quality a little bit, but then makes my file size a lot smaller. We'll have to see. I'm definitely doing the thing with the camera. Even if the file size is too big or not, the file size is a thing I can fix. Uh, I'm, I'm confident I can fix that. Um, I'm sick of doing all the virtual all the virtual dub stuff, all the frap stuff, um, because this takes it takes way too fucking long, um, and uh, it's too much of a hassle for me. And I want to record more more footage and get it up to you guys quicker. And this is one step in the right direction. And I hope to eventually achieve my goal of uploading videos quickly uh, and having small f small file size and having doing everything boom 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 so I can get content onto you guys really fast because it's not ni it's not really fun for me to record some to record a bunch of shit because my style is to record vi to record videos record um, everything I play almost everything I play nowadays I record almost everything and the th reason I well, that's basically what I want to do. I want to record everything I play, have commentary on it, and put it up on my channel so I have, I have lots and lots of gameplay footage. That's my goal. That, that's just my goal. Um, because it's fun for me and it's, I like to do it. But for me to be able to do that, I have to, ha I have to make this step because there's no way I can do it. I can, there's no way I can do it without it. So, after the rundown, uh, I see it's gotten quite long. Um... Thank you guys for watching, staying this long, uh, clicking on part two, because this is going to be a two-parter. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and um, I hope you guys have a solution for me out there with the compression. I, I strongly doubt it, though, because um, for looking for video compression software, there is no ideal video compression software. It always either takes too long, or the files, you know, something, something else is bullshit. So, I'll see you guys another time.